Late Show. Whether you're crunching numbers or doing app crunches, we're here for you every single day with our daily 10-minute business lessons for the real world. I'm your host, your coach, your teacher, Omar Zenholm. I'm also the co-founder of The $100 MBA, a complete business training and community online. It's also a great place to get started with some really awesome free resources. Check out our free guides over at 100mba.net slash guides. Learn how to put together a business plan in under an hour, how to put together an online course, the important aspects of your business website. All those guides are free and more. So go ahead and check them out at 100mba.net slash guides. In today's episode, we're going to be teaching customer onboarding 101. We're going to explain exactly what does customer onboarding mean? What does it entail? What does your customer experience once they've purchased a product from you? This is extremely, extremely important regardless of what you're selling, whether it's a product, a service, an informational program, a software, what your customers experience when they first purchase, how they walk through your product or service is their first impression of you. It confirms or denies they made the right decision by purchasing from you. It also ensures that they're successful with your product or service. We're going to get into all the details and more in today's lesson, so let's get down to business. This episode of the $100 MBA show is sponsored by HostGator, our hosting provider of choice for $100 MBA and Webinar Ninja. We love them because their support is rock solid, 24-7 live support via phone, chat, and email. They can set you up with your website, your domain name, your design services, your marketing services, pretty much anything that it comes to your website. And they do it all without breaking the bank and they're hooking up every listener of the $100 MBA show with an amazing discount. Just go to HostGator.com and use promo code OMARHOOKUP to save 25% off HostGator. To save 25% off web hosting, just go to HostGator.com and use promo code OMARHOOKUP. So what exactly is customer onboarding? To put it simply, it's the process or experience a new customer has when they purchase your product. What happens when they buy your product? Once they've submitted their credit card information and given you their hard-earned money, what do they experience? I'm going to give you a few tips that are critical to make sure that customer hangs on with you. One, they don't return that product or service. Two, they're happy and they use your service because you want them to use your service or your product so they can tell other people. A successful customer is your biggest asset. And three, it's not the last product they buy from you. They continue to buy more products from you. Now, there's a whole science that comes with this, and there's so much detail I can give you, but today's episode is a 101 lesson. I'm going to give you the bare bones, the essentials, what you need to start with. And the best way for me to teach you this is to give you my own example, the $100 MBA. What happens when you join the $100 MBA? So we're going to give you some spoilers here. So when a customer purchases our online training and community, they become a lifetime member. And I want them to use the product. I want them to use the $100 MBA training. I want them to build a great business And therefore, I can say, yes, my program helps other people. So onboarding is something that we keep on tweaking. So to keep things simple, we're going to split onboarding into front-end onboarding and back-end onboarding. Let me explain the difference. Front-end is what the customer actually experienced on the website once they've checked out. And back-end is what they'll receive via email, for example, and onwards as the days roll by after they've purchased. This is things happening in the background, things that are happening to ensure they get the information they need. So let's start with front-end onboarding. When a customer joins your product, when they join your service, you want to make sure they feel good about it, that you show your personality and you have a little fun. But you also want to guide them. You want to hold their hand and make sure they know exactly how to use your product. So with the $100 MBA, the first thing that you experience when you check out is a really cool, awesome welcome page. And it's a simple page with a video that auto plays. It's me and Nicole, and we thank you for being a part of the $100 MBA. We tell you what it's all about in a nutshell, and it's a very short video. It's about a minute, but we show how excited we are to have you. And the only thing you can do on that page is watch the video and press a red button on the bottom. That red button takes them through orientation. There's nothing else they can do. They can't check out the other courses. They can't check out the dashboard. Because before they use our product, we want to show them how to best utilize it. So the first thing they do is they click on that button after they've watched the welcome video, and it walks them through a mini course. It's kind of like the course to teach them how to use the $100 MBA. And we actually call it orientation. 
We talk about the courses. We talk about the forum. We talk about the Facebook group. We talk about how to advance to the next lesson. We talk about using the workbooks. And they're short mini lessons. Each video is about two minutes long. And I walk you through it. And I tell you to click the next button below to watch the next video. So immediately, minutes after they've checked out, they're enjoying a great learning experience. And I'm training them how to utilize my product. I don't just dump them in there and don't give them any guidance. And remember, if you train them, if you train your users how to use your product, they'll use it properly and you'll get a win. The last video of the orientation course actually tells them what to do next. Your job as somebody who's producing any kind of product, any kind of software, any kind of service is to tell your customer what to do next every step of the way. So they know what to expect and they know what to do. So I actually recommend what first course they should jump into when they start the $100 MBA. I also tell them how they can get help and how they can get support if they need help along the way. So that's a basic example of a front end onboarding system. On the back end, you wanna make sure you welcome your customer properly. You give them a confirmation email and give them all the details that they need, like their username and password, how to get access to the product or service, or when the delivery of your product or service is expected. But don't forget to add your personality again. Make sure you show them that you're pumped. We put a funny gif of Nicole and I jumping for joy. It's actually when we completed the production of the Hunter All MBA. So have fun with that welcome email. Have a series of emails that come after that, maybe the day after, two days after, that ask them how they're doing, ask them how they can get support. Give them some help documents, some more great materials or tutorials. One of the things that we do with Webinar Ninja, we just started doing, is we're giving people a dedicated customer service rep. So for example, if you join Webinar Ninja, you'll get an email that looks like, hey, I'm CJ. CJ is one of our customer support ninjas. And that email's purpose is to say, hey, you can reach out to me anytime you need to at support at WebinarNinja.co. I wanna make sure you're successful with webinars. Those early stages when your customer's interacting with your product or service for the first time are critical. Make sure you capture their hearts and make sure they know that you got their back. Guys, I got more on today's topic, but before that, I gotta give love to today's sponsor, Pro Job Network. If you're a small business owner, you can do a thousand things to find a great new hire, or you can do one. Post with Pro Job Network. Just one click post your ad to over 40 different job sites. It would probably take you forever to do that, and even then, you wouldn't get the preferred placement that you'll get from Pro Job Network. In about a day, you'll have a list of qualified local candidates to choose from because ProJob Network will place your job in front of qualified candidates who've asked to hear about specific opportunities like yours. How great is that? You'll save time, you'll save money, and you'll find good people. Go ahead, try ProJob Network free for one week by visiting tryprojob.com slash MBA. That's tryprojob.com slash MBA. Post it, hire, genius. Try it free at tryprojob.com slash MBA. So there are three key elements of the onboarding sequence I wanna leave you with. Number one, make sure you show them you're excited to have them on board. Make them feel good. Number two, you can never over communicate. Walk your customer through how to use your product or service, whether it's on the front end of onboarding or the back end with emails. Number three, always leave off with what they need to do next. So if it's a video they need to watch next, if it's a project they need to work on, if it's information you need from them, so they can send it to you so you can complete the service for them. Everybody wants to know what to do next, what to expect next. So once you do this, this will happen. This is the next step in the process. By showing them the next step, they'll continue on with the onboarding and go on to the next step of using your product or service properly. Now I know that I wasn't able to cover every single thing when it comes to onboarding, there's a lot of talk about creating a controlled environment as people get onto your product. There are different onboarding sequences for software, but I wanted to give you the important points, the important things to keep in mind when you're bringing in a new customer. All right, guys, that wraps up today's lesson. I hope you enjoyed it. I enjoy teaching it. I enjoy having you guys here every single day listening to The $100 MBA Show. If you haven't subscribed to our show, click the subscribe button on whatever app you're using, whether it's iTunes, Stitcher, Overcast, whatever you're using, make sure you're subscribed so you get every single episode automatically. Also, by subscribing, you get all the episodes in our feed. Now, we're well over 300 episodes now. We're on 446 today. So if you want to get the earlier episodes, you have to be subscribed. Lastly, if you're getting value out of our lessons, the best way to show your appreciation is with an iTunes rating and review. 
It takes two minutes, guys. We would love to hear from you. We read every single one of them, and it really helps us hone in and get better at what we do. Your feedback is so important. And everybody who leaves us an iTunes rating and review enters our weekly random draw to win a free ride, a free lifetime membership to the $100 MBA training and community. Every Friday, tomorrow in fact, we give away a free lifetime membership. We do a weekly random draw with everyone who left us an iTunes rating and review. It's our way to say thank you for being a part of our show. All right, guys, I want to leave you with this. One of the best ways to get started with customer onboarding is with paper and pen. Having a flow or a flow chart just sketching out the steps of what your customers will experience when they buy your product. It helps to get your head around the actual experience. It also helps you understand what to work on first and how to build upon your actual onboarding. You might have a very simple onboarding sequence, but then add on later on. I know we're doing this with Webinar Ninja. We keep on adding to the onboarding sequence to help our new customers. All right, guys, I hope that was helpful, and I hope to see you in tomorrow's episode, Free Ride Friday. I'll see you then, guys. Take care. 